Hey guys, if you're 91, and I'm talking about Nintendo Switch. Now, remember how back in July, I guess it was, Nintendo basically had it wasn't an announcement exactly. It probably, I, I, I think it was announced, but it wasn't like made popular by Nintendo, like you know, commercials, no nothing. That basically there was going to be a new Switch that had a processor upgrade, I believe it was, and the processor ran more efficiently, I think, and that's why the battery life for this new Switch is greatly increased. But that's the only major difference. I did hear that someone said the Doom ran a little smoother on the new Switch, but I'm not sure about that. But in any case, this new Switch, the only difference between the old one is that the new Switch box is red, and the old Switch box is like red, red and white, and it, it, the design is slightly different of the box. But a lot of people apparently don't know that this Switch is out because Nintendo didn't exactly put it out there like that. And they bought, apparently, the old Switch after July 17th when the new one came out. And apparently a rumor went around that Nintendo would accept the old Switch if you bought it after July 17th and you would get the new Switch for free, basically. It became so popular, it became so popular that Nintendo actually had to make a official announcement saying, we do not exchange Switches. And this is sad because now people will be like, oh, Nintendo, look at you being anti-customer or whatever. But they never said they were going to do it. You, you can't blame Nintendo for a rumor that spread about their console. Now, I understand there's a little difference here because it's not like with the Xbox and the Xbox One S. Like, you would definitely know the difference between those two if you were in the store. This is the same exact Switch. It just has a better processor inside, I believe. And that's what causes the battery life to last longer. So I understand that people can get confused. But the retailers should also be telling people, hey, the one in the red box is the one that has longer battery life. Certain retailers like Walmart. And I'm not dissing the Walmart employees, but it doesn't seem like Walmart trains the people who have to work like by the electronic area to actually know uh, all or at least most of the electronics there. No offense to the workers themselves, obviously, because Walmart really should, I feel, train people who are going to work in the electronics. But the retailer should still basically inform the people why the boxes look different. So I don't think this is Nintendo's fault, and it's sad that this happened because people shouldn't be fooled into thinking that if they bought the old Switch by mistake, that they are going to be able to upgrade to the new one for free. But I do think that Nintendo definitely needs to show people the differences so people will know whether they want the old one or the new one. Truth be told, they're the same price, so I don't see any reason why people want the old Switch if you don't already have a Switch. I already have my old Switch. I mostly play it in my house, so I don't really care about the new one like that. But to me, it definitely makes more sense to buy the new Switch, even if you don't carry it out that much, just because you might as well buy a Switch that has the upgraded processor. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.